Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to read My Teacher is a Monster. No, I'm not by Peter Brown. Bobby had a big problem at school. Her name was Mrs. Kirby. Robert! Move it or lose it, Mrs. Kirby stomped. Settle down, Mrs. Kirby roared. No recess for children who throw paper airplanes in class. Mrs. Kirby was a monster. Bobby spent his free time in the park trying to forget his teacher problems. But one Saturday morning, on the way to his favorite spot, Bobby found a terrible surprise. Uh-oh, look at how scared he is. <gasps> I see that his teacher, Mrs. Kirby, is in Bobby's favorite spot at the park. What is he going to do now? Bobby wanted to run. He wanted to hide, but he knew that would only make things worse. Robert, you do not have to raise your hand out here. What were you going to say? Robert. Uh, I, I was gonna say, hello, Mrs. Kirby. I, I like your enormous hat, Mrs. Kirby. Thank you, Robert. M Mrs. Kirby, it's really strange seeing you outside of school. I agree. There was an awkward silence. And then a gust of wind changed everything. <gasps> oh, that's my favorite hat. My, my dear old granny gave it to me. Don't let it get away. Got it. He got it for her. Oh, Bobby, you're my hero. I, I mean, that was very good of you, Robert. You're welcome, Mrs. Kirby. Those ducks sure do seem to like you. Oh yeah, <laughs> they know I enjoy quacking with them. Quack, 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 quack. When they were all quacked out, Bobby had an idea. You should see my favorite spot in the park. Oh, be, be careful. Yes, Mrs. Kirby. There goes Bobby, climbing higher and higher. This is lovely. And then Mrs. Kirby had an idea. Look what she's doing. She's giving Bobby a piece of paper so that he could make one of his favorite paper airplanes. Bobby tossed his paper airplane into the sky and it flew and it flew and it flew. I think that was the single greatest paper airplane flight in history. I think you're right. Hmm, I can see that Mrs. Kirby is looking less like a monster and more like a teacher. By lunchtime, Bobby and Mrs. Kirby were happy they had bumped into each other. But they were ready to say goodbye. See you Monday, Bobby. Bye, Mrs. Kirby. Coming through. Back at school, Mrs. Kirby still stomped. And then the bear said, roar. Mrs. Kirby still roared. Great job, Bobby. 
But Mrs. Kirby was still a monster? Uh oh, Robert! Look what he did. He threw another paper airplane in Mrs. Kirby's class. <sighs> the end. It says monsters are not always what they seem. Thanks for joining me today. See you soon, guys.